All right, hello all. Um, working on uh, a Linux GT installer, and uh, thanks to Carl uh, from Ar Architect Linux, uh, he helped me um, put together an installer for Linux GT. So I have it loaded here in VirtualBox. Uh, here's the ISO file right here, and it's already loaded, but just to show you. So let's just power on uh, VirtualBox. Now I have installed this on my system and I noticed a few problems, nothing terrible, but uh, just some observations. So I'm um, sorry I haven't changed the uh, arch, uh, the boot screen, splash screen. Um, I did manage to change the uh, text of course for Linux GT. Um, maybe somebody can um, come up with a logo, I think it's 640 by 480 or something. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'll post it in the notes. So nonetheless, um, uh, try out and install Linux GT. So we'll just, uh, first entry, just press enter and give that a little bit of time to start. All right, so I'm going to attempt to resize the screen. Sometimes this goes black on me. Uh, pretty sure it's, uh, oh, good. Okay, I don't want to push my luck anymore for that. So, uh, this is uh, the familiar if you use Linux GT desktop. This is the desktop. I've updated documentation. I included uh, Carl's notes and uh, added an extra note for the NVIDIA 400 series card. Um, after This is after you install. You can look over that. Uh, that's one of the issues I ran into. Nothing to do with the installer, it's just me. So, as you can see here, it says. Uh, install Linux GT so you just hit that once it comes up and there you go you select your language and it does the uh, rechecking requirements prepare the install you can set a virtual console console such as US keyboard layout English US partition disk obviously is one only here so G parts included so I get that to run and I'm going to uh, create a new partition table and click apply and then a new um, file system extension for keep it straightforward this does support uh, Carl's installer and supports more file system types but I'm going to uh, play it safe and just do extension 4 and click apply close and control Q to quit uh, I'm not going to do logical volume uh, so mount the partition device SDA one that is extension four it's been mounted and I don't have a swap so none there and I'm back install base install base and this might take two or three minutes or so so I'll be back when this is finished all right so now we just run our MK init CPIO file you can see that it's uh, the usual routine And install a bootloader. Um, I did uh, include the uh, OS Prober um, for Grub. So I'm just going to click yes and uh, device SDA for the Grub. Go back, configure the base, uh, generate. And I've been using the unique code because there's like, it's almost endless. Choose whatever you want for a host name. I'm just going to leave it at PacBang. That's where this installer um, is from. Uh, time zone, uh, the usual drill, choose what you wish, wherever you live, or may not live, or whatever. Now, uh, UTC, um, I dual boot uh, Windows 10, and there is a registry setting that seems to work in Windows 10, so I just leave it at UTC, and in VirtualBox, of course, it doesn't matter, so just UTC is fine. System locale, you just, uh, wherever your uh, your country uh, is you just select the one and then press enter or OK and then you set up your uh, root passwords once the users and groups are set up press uh, back and you can review and V console I like to have it a little bit larger because of my eyesight so I just put ISO I'll zoom in here ISO this is completely optional O2 that's 12 by 22 control O to write it out control X to exit 
and your host name, you can review that. Pseudo rotors. Just page down to the end and then the arrow key up. And I uh, put a hash sign in front of the percent wheel, all equals all, and uncomment. Take out the pound sign beside the uh, no password colon all. And then control O, control X. And you notice that was an on the mounted pseudoers directory. And grub. Uh, this won't kick in until after I reboot, but again, it's, uh, it's a virtual box slash or visual thing for me. Uh, 1024 by 768. I write that out and exit. And that's good. So back, done, close installer. Now you have uh, several ways you can log out. Uh, Alt space will bring up the uh, menu. There's a logout button here. It's log out button here at the bottom or alt e to log out restart shut down and lock screen and so on so i'm just going to reboot and now uh, when we get to the splash screen uh, arrow key one and choose boot existing os and we should be presented with our login manager and the prompt for your username and password so there we go you just uh, fill in your password and Log in. There it is. Uh, Linux GT installed in VirtualBox using uh, Carl's awesome installer scripts. And I can't thank Carl enough for helping me and uh, getting this to be a reality for me. I've been trying to do this for uh, quite a while now. Um, and just once I I got used to uh, looking at the install script and it was just, I've been pushing it a little bit and trying different things and so far so good, fingers crossed. The only exception is the NVIDIA or any proprietor, you're going to have to clean up some stuff. Um, and manual here mentions uh, the key rings, you can run that if you want, just copy and paste from here to here, oops, from here to here. And paste that into a terminal and supply your password or if you chose to uh, use the no password method um, just whatever just let that um, complete it takes a little bit of time and I think that should cover it so that's uh, Linux GT with an installer and I I'm probably want to do the same with uh, other uh, spins that I've made um, especially my arch on March, <laughs> my XFCE4 desktop and stuff. Okay, so that should do it for this one, and I'll try to upload the ISO image as soon as I can. And there you go, it works. <laughs> I think, I hope. Okay, so that should do it for this one, and thank you so much for watching, and take care. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.